Hey there, we live on a dynamic planet with a wide variety of minerals that range from very basic, although there's nothing basic about this beauty, quartz, to crazy, awesome, thin brucite specimens. There's a wide variety. Some are incredibly rare, some are rather common. But how many mineral specimens are there? And I won't bury the lead, it's 5,960. 5,960 mineral specimens that are recognized, and that begs the question, who determines that? We'll talk about that today. But first, if you haven't yet, please consider leaving a like, leaving a comment, and hitting the real subscribe button, that little bell down below. It tremendously helps the channel, and we are fighting against the algorithm hard, but I need your help. Anything helps. Sorry, this is completely unedited. <laughs> this isn't my video that I had planned for today. Unfortunately, there was a an issue with video syncing, and it didn't render right, and it took two hours to render before, so I have to do it all over again. It wasn't ready for today, so I'm having to do this all on the fly. Also, Mineral of the Month Club, I'm not going to tease you all about what the mineral is going to be this month. I know a lot of you have been taking bets on how long it would take before I uh, sent out a geode. It's going to be this month. This coming month is going to be geodes. I've got 50 pounds of them that are supposed to be showing up tomorrow, and it's my very favorite type of geode. I'm incredibly excited. I'm going to have some other purchasing options as well, aside from just the description. We're going all out this month. I hope you'll be a part of it. So 5,960 recognized mineral specimens. Who recognizes that? It's the IMA, or the International Mineralogical Association. Let's discuss what a mineral is first. A mineral is an element or a chemical compound that is normally crystalline and that has been formed as a result of geological processes. The IMA, or the International Mineralogical Association, that's their definition, was founded in 1958. And it's actually a conglomerate of some 40 mineralogical societies around the world. The one that's in the United States is the Mineralogical Society of America. And these 40 societies will meet relatively often, discuss new minerals that have been found, determine if it actually is a mineral or not. They will discuss nomenclature on minerals that need maybe more distinction. But their purpose, and this is their goal as stated by them, is to promote science and to standardize nomenclature of known minerals. But the IMA has been around for quite a while, and this is an example of a mineral that received a nomenclature change within the last few years. This is stilbite and apophyllite, only that's not what we're calling them anymore. <laughs> stilbite was con has been recently considered a series of minerals. So this is stilbite CA, meaning that it's a calcium-rich form of stilbite. And this is florapophyllite K, or a potassium-rich version of florapophyllite, which is a version of apophyllite. It's also a series of minerals now. But without the IMA, we wouldn't have these kinds of classifications and standardization. The standardization is taking some time. You know, there are some classic minerals that probably won't receive much of a standardization update because they are classic or historically significant minerals. But as far as standardization is concerned, there is a bit of a need for it in the field. And it does push back against some gimmicky marketing stuff as well. But I digress. What do you think? And how many minerals do you think are actually out there? We haven't even talked about in, like interstellar minerals or anything like that. Also, there are new minerals being formed all the time. This, by the way, is September of 2023. If you watch this video in a couple of years, maybe it'll be 6,500 recognized minerals. I don't know. But anyway, you all have a wonderful day. Thank you so very much, and please consider liking and commenting. It tremendously helps the channel, and I hope you have a good day.